Hi, I'm Andre Brock. I'm going to be teaching you all about pruning citrus trees today. We get a lot of questions this time of year in late winter about pruning trees and especially citrus trees and they're all pruned a little bit differently. So citrus trees have their own kind of little rules and suggestions that we're going to go over. One of the first questions we get is when do I prune my citrus tree? Well, late winter is generally a good time to do that. You want to get it all pruned by about mid-February. In different parts of the state are on different schedules, but as in South Louisiana, you can start getting that first flush of growth as early as mid-February into March, and we want to prune ahead of that. So this tree still has a lot of fruit on it from last season, and that's not too uncommon, because when these fruit trees bear, they really make a lot, and you can't always handle all the fruit. But if you haven't harvested all your fruit from last season, then you want to make sure and remove that fruit now. Fruit is a big drain on trees as far as their resources and energy and so on. Uh, so when you remove that fruit, it's got a better chance of growing, putting that uh, energy into this season's growth. So if you see rotten fruit like this, fruit that's no longer any good to eat, don't drop it under the tree if you can avoid that because that can lead to rot and potential diseases. But just toss these all and remove them from the property, from the area. Just like with any tree, one of the things that, uh, that become the priority to remove is dead, diseased, and damaged branches. And that's kind of just a common sense thing, that any, any problematic branches you have in here are going to have to be removed. And what we see a lot on citrus trees are these little dead tips that'll die during the winter, sometimes from cold events, or sometimes they just die on their own. But there are a bunch of them on this area, so we'll go back here and cut at this branch. We don't want to cut in the middle of a branch and leave a stub like this. That's an entryway for disease and or insects. But we make a nice flush cut at the next branch that it connects with, and that'll heal over relatively quickly. This branch right here is clearly broken. So that's a damaged branch. We go ahead and cut that close to the branch that it came off of. And on the, in the same category, we've got branches that rub together, branches that cross and touch. And you can see what happens here is every time the wind blows or anything, they rub on each other and there's a wound on this branch right here. So we'll go ahead and remove this branch, again close to its base, so they don't rub anymore. Another area of our citrus trees we need to pay attention to is the skirt, the outermost branches low to the ground. As you know, if you've grown citrus before, they can put on quite a heavy load. And some of these branches could be weighed down by fruit, and the fruit could end up touching the ground. So we don't want that to happen. It'll rot the fruit pretty quickly. If you have a branch that touches the ground, it's got to come off. So we're going to trace this back to its point of origin and take it out. Also, if you've got relatively low-hanging branches, that could touch the ground, if they had a heavy fruit load, then they need to be removed too. So what I tell people is, imagine a grocery bag full of fruit hanging on the end of this branch. If that's enough weight to pull it down, then the branch has to come off. Another advantage to raising the edges of the tree, to removing some of that outer growth, is that you get better airflow through the tree. We've got plenty of heat and humidity and rain in Louisiana. We don't need extra help keeping the inside moist. So the more airflow you have through, the better it dries off and the less chance you have for bacteria, fungi, etc., to take hold uh, on the inside of the tree. We need to prune for height with citrus trees as well. We're not super worried about the overall shape because it's not really an ornamental tree. It is uh, something the neighbors are going to look at, so it's a consideration, but not a main consideration. But some of these branches are going way up to heaven and, and really getting a lot of reach. And we're not going to be able to reach the fruit that grows way up there. Yet again, if I cut it mid-branch, it's going to make a bunch of sprouts coming out right there, and I haven't really solved my problem. So I'm going to follow this water sprout down to where it came from and cut it off from this main branch. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here. I'd say that's its next nearest reasonable junction. So you can see this branch reaches a good 10, 12 feet up in the air. Uh, I don't care how tall you are, that's not gonna be a convenient place to be picking fruit from. So we just made this a little more convenient for us as consumers. Also, if you see lichen growing on your tree on, on the branches or trunk, there's nothing to apply to it anyway. As far as I know, there are no chemicals labeled for 
killing lichen. So it's not something you need to apply anything for or treat. These leaves are all curled up. And you see this frequently on citrus trees. It's caused by a leaf miner. It's a little insect that gets inside the leaf. Not much we can normally do about it, but it's not very damaging to the tree. So now and then people are concerned about that. Hey, should I cut this off when I'm pruning? It's really not a problem at all. You can leave these damaged leaves on, these curled leaves.